So everybody just remembers the Phil Collins. Delightful. We're doing a beer vlog from Wandering Star Brewery. We love Wandering Star Brewery. Wandering Star! All right, so they're in the order. In the order they are on, on the... On that. Okay. All right, don't mind us, unless you want to be on film. Oh, don't forget to do a droney at some point. Oh, yeah. So, sweetie. Yes. Here we are, Wandering Star Brewery in Pittsfield. What have we? Music in the background, that's what we have. <laughs> Thank God we have microphones. We have almost all of their beers. Everything except the crushable blonde Czech style Pilsner. Sweetie, are you telling me we're not having the, the crushable blonde? No, he warned me off on the spicy one, but I said we would try it. So we, that could be a mistake. But that's because we are spicy beer vloggers. Yes, so we have a whole bunch of different beers here to try. And I think I heard that we are actually going in chronological order. Yes, you because he see. put them on here in order because he had that smart idea. Well, I'm probably not going to taste them in order. And there is also a brewery cat here named Fuggles. That is the Loopy Juice Double New England IPA, their most popular beer. It's kettle and whirlpool hopped. I don't even know what that means. They hop it in a whirlpool? Wow, do you want to hop in a whirlpool? Sweetie, can we do a hopping in a whirlpool beer vlog? I'm not sure that would keep our PG rating. <laughs> Before we start, can we do the thing? There has to do the thing in front of the owner. This is the Shedhead Tanglewood IPA. Device is off, sweetie. You have to take two on that, sweetie. Okay, this is the Shedhead Tanglewood IPA. Smells clean and fresh and a little fruity. Very clean and balanced. Nice mouth feel. Super refreshing, not too bitter. Shedhead Tanglewood IPA at Wandering Star Brewery. Shedhead Tanglewood. Sweetie, that was most excellently delightful. And that is a perfect beer for me because I sometimes shed my tangled hair. I was thinking that you were more like the bedhead drinking the Shedhead Tanglewood IPA. It's called Loopy Juice Double New England IPA. They say it's hiding the alcohol well. I will be the judge of that. It does smell stronger, smells very fruity. Yes, I would say that you could be fooled into thinking that this is not over 8% alcohol. There's sometimes like a bitterness that they get, the ones that are double IPAs, but this is very balanced still. It may be a little less hazy than the shed head. Got a little more bite to it than the shed head. There you go, sir. Have at it. Loopy Juice Double IPA at Wandering Star Brewery. Loopy Juice Double IPA. That was most delicious, sweetie. You know, I like to start my days as a beer vlogger with a giant quart of orange juice. Now, I would say if I just sub substitute my orange juice for this loopy juice, I would be wonderfully loopy after I juiced myself in the morning. Then, sweetie, can we now taste the pumpkin one? Yes, but I'm just gonna tell you my approach here since you're always complaining when I don't go in order. Then we're gonna taste the one that he warned me off of saying it was too spicy. And then we will save the tangerine cream for last to cool our palates in case it is so spicy that we are in dire trouble. Sweetie, do you have an Excel spreadsheet? No, I do it all in my head. This one might be a little weird. It's got squash in it too, pumpkins and butternut squash. Kind of smell that. It's nice. It's not too strongly flavored of pumpkin. It is a little spicy. He did this very theatrical thing of they run the hose of the spigot to pour it through a pumpkin. So it looks like they're pouring it right out of a pumpkin. It's a lot more subtle than I thought it would be. I have tasted pumpkin beers that I was not fond of. This is very good. The sincerest pumpkin and butternut squash ale, the sincerest pumpkin ale yes. at Wandering Star Brewery. Yes. That was quite wonderful, sweetie. I would say that tis the season for this ale. And I would yeah. say that in October, if I were to go back to trick-or-treating, I would think that every doorstop should have <laughs> yeah. some of this. Not a grown-up version of trick-or-treating is just a pub crawl. There you have it. <laughs> I sincerely think that yeah. this would make yeah. trick-or-treating so much more fun. And you'd be I a lot sincerely. more likely to see the great pumpkin. Now you got to be brave. I don't. Sweetie. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't make me spill it. Sweetie. Yeah. Do I need to brace myself for the next one? Yes, because it's full of ghost pepper, tortuga scorpion peppers. 
He warned me off of it. Smells a little dangerous. That's good. You would maybe not want to drink a whole pint of it, but it's less spicy than I thought it would be, considering that he warned me off of it. Hi, went on at Wandering Star Brew. That, that was, was quite wonderful. That is the least beer-flavored beer I've had on this whole outing. Yeah. I think I would want to tie not just one on, but maybe a six pack of that on. Really? Wow. We liked it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But some people act as if they're being shot. Now we're gonna try the tangerine cream. You can definitely smell the tangerine and you can definitely taste the tangerine. It's nice. It's also not beer flavored beer. It's got tiny bubbles. It's not very effervescent. It's refreshing. And it's definitely juicy. Tangerine cream at Wandering Star Brewery. Tangerine cream. Sweetie? Yeah. That makes me feel wonderfully like this. Wonderfully like this. I am thinking and wondering if we could maybe get a kegger of this and make love on a real train. I get your movie references right. I thought that was Phil Collins. He has a song called Tangerine Dream. She uh, has it? no film understanding. When everyone is off and they are doing they're doing the whoop whoop on the train with the Tangerine Dream. Oh, so everybody just remembers the Phil Collins. Delightful. We're doing a beer vlog from Wandering Star Brewery. We love Wandering Star Brewery.